Happy Labor Day weekend, everybody. Here is how you voice track as if it is a spot rather than regular voice tracks. You still need to open AV Scheduler, as you see right down here, and bring up WZPL for the log. And let's just say I'm going to voice track Sunday afternoon. We'll say I'm doing noon to 2 or something. You see the voice track right there where it says voice track 83? It's going to be between Adele, someone like you, and Jesse J. Price tag. Okay, then you come back down here and open up this AVRPS. This is called AVRPS. You go to Load, Find, and this drop down menu, you take it down to Voice Tracks. Hit Search, scroll down, and there are all the voice tracks. Now, the voice track I'm looking for is Voice Track 83. I am looking for voice track 83, which is right there. Double click on it, then hit load. Now it's there as yellow. It has basically no audio in it. Some will have audio in it. Same procedure for both. On the keyboard, you'll see timed recording F5. You hit F5. This is what happens when you hit F5. Keep your eye on the record button. It becomes active. And notice the green button and the uh, yellow button have become active as well. To record a voice track, you simply hit start after the uh, record button is highlighted. And you basically just talk. It'll actually show your levels like you're talking. See how they're uh, showing up on the far left hand side? It's because the mic is away from me, but it gets the idea across. When you're done, you hit stop. And then you need to go under Cut, Trim and Tones, and depending on um, what your ramp time is, basically this green line is the length of the cut. So let's just say it's nine seconds for the ramp time. Then you have to hit the Sec Tone button, Insert Sec, make it very small, hit Save, and you are done. If you have any other questions, 317-670-7316. It is really, really simple to do. Um, that's how you record as a cut, basically as a spot rather than a voice track.